There's a famous expression which is that the eyes are the portals to one's soul. The eyes is the entrance. It's the entrance into a person's heart, to his mitzvahs, to his thinking, to his actions. Unfortunately, we live in a world today where everything is exposed, everything is revealed. Where we turn, the world at large is trying their best to enter every level of our existence, to give us, inundate us with all kinds of things, things we shouldn't be seeing. Kaddish Baruch gifted us with the gift of seeing it, that we could keep our eyes closed, close our eyes, turn our heads. Don't go after your hearts and your eyes. Chazal tell us, The order of things is, the I see, and then a person desires what he sees. Interestingly enough, the Pasik goes the other way around. The heart is mentioned first, and then Einechem, then the eyes. Because a person puts his eyes where his heart takes him, and once his eyes see the things he shouldn't, his heart at that point has a desire for more. We have to try our best to heat our eyes, cover our eyes, in places of work, places where you go, stores, wherever you may be. It's, you're always inundated, you're always you get deluged, overwhelmed with everything there just trying to get you to look. Look at me, look here. These are the places where if you have the opportunity just to close your eyes, turn away, take out a safe or look inside, do anything you can just not to look, you'll find an amazing amount of growth from that. Baruch Hashem, there's movement in the Klai Yisrael at this point, trying to help people and understand to keep those eyes away from things that you should not see. I cannot begin to tell you what I've heard from many. Many have told me that when they've had those successes and managed to avoid seeing things they should never have seen, their lives change drastically. The amount of growth every single time a person refrains from seeing something he should not see, besides the simcha, the feeling of ecstasy of having managed to overcome an asayin, but it works time and again. Of course at times it's difficult, of course at times there is mikshaylim, people fall through, but there's always another chance. Why don't you start and get used to the fact that not everything out there has to be seen, you'll have a better sense of control on yourself in every level of your existence. And each time the growth that comes, one controls his eyes and does not look where he should not see, besides protecting his soul, besides protecting his thinking, his emotions, and everything about him, it increases his chance to be able to have eyes that see the Torah with clarity, that see HaKadosh Baruch with clarity. Every single success you have has growth exponentially. It's so kedai. Baruch Hashem Vayimoyin has given us the opportunity to spread this message to everyone. Let's fight back. Let's be sure that the golos that we have, the giluyim, the openness, the exhibitionism of this golos should finally come to an end with watching our eyes and being sure that we see what we have to see and not seeing the things we don't have to see. We'll be sure to meet Hashem to see the coming of Mashiach. Amen.